all of Yugoslavia tour. So these are like the tourist attractions in Sarajevo. So welcome to uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I just got approached by these guys, Meet Bosnia, and uh, I see, because I was looking at their sign, they're offering a tour for 25 euro, and they uh, saw my big camera, so they asked me if I'm a vlogger, and I said yes. So they told me if I just promote them, I get the tour for free. So I'm going on a free tour tomorrow, I'm really looking forward, and so far I have very good impressions here of the city in uh, Sarajevo. It's very beautiful with many mosques, and today we also have beautiful weather. Spring is coming here in Sarajevo. So over there is a fortress. Since now it's Ramadan, at sunset they will fire a gunshot to uh, let everybody know that they can eat at sunset. So this is the pedestrian zone and there are lots of shops. Here they're selling uh, paintings, it's like a gallery. Beautiful, they're showing here the churches. So I guess this is the famous square I saw on the postcards. This is a beautiful landscape with the mountains, the minaret towers, and here the old houses with the cafes and restaurants. It's a Vapchichi kebab fridge. <laughs> These little houses look very interesting. I'm wondering if they're, if they're religious. Here's a very pretty park. It's a beautiful building in the middle. So, nice buildings. There's a beautiful church. So here they have a nice map of the city. And they also show you uh, the attractions of the old town, which includes here the Saborna Kravka. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this church here. As you can see. Beautiful. <laughs> The traditional food, but it's mostly meat, and we don't want to eat too much meat actually. So here is the fire. Here, this is the Olympic Committee of uh, Sarajevo, which is on a little hill next to the city center, which also has a beautiful view, especially today since it's very sunny. Spring is coming here. So here's a very beautiful mosque. They have a fountain here in the middle. So here we have a beautiful view on the castle. And there's also like a little dam. So here we have a traditional Bosnian soup, which is called Hadziki Sevap. They serve it in these metal plates, even though it's not so cheap. So it's a beautiful scene here at night. Here the city becomes alive at night and it's also beautiful when the mosques lit up. Now after sunset, all the Muslims having iftar. Iftar means to break the fast and they really deserve it because it is really tough to fast. So I tried it a couple of times and it's very difficult. They can't even drink. <laughs> Oh. So my lunch for today is spinach with tomatoes and some bread for five dollars. This is a very famous shop. This is one of the best restaurants here in town. It's always full, which is not now because it is Ramadan. It's interesting here we have a Muslim graveyard because it's a mosque. It's very interesting that there are many graveyards here in Sarajevo. So here and they all have these white stones so you can see them from far away. Therefore they stand out and I saw at least five of them already just here in the city center. But right now I am going up there. This is the, the castle and over there they shoot the cannon when it's time to eat for the Muslims. It's a beautiful time now at sunset. It's a nice view here in the city. I'm walking up the hill to this beautiful castle. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset tonight here. And everybody's coming up here to see the cannon shot. 
which will happen right at sunset, which means since now it's Ramadan, the Muslims can eat since they were fasting all day long, which is right now, it's going to be at 7.25. Over there, you can see another big graveyard. In fact, actually there are two. In the right, there's another one. So that's the cannon and here are really many people waiting. It's gonna be 25 more minutes. Beautiful view here in the city. And over there is the castle. Here's a nice cafe with a viewpoint on the city. Oh, it's beautiful here in spring with the white trees starting to blossom. So pretty here. What wasn't so clear to see from far away is that this castle is actually a ruin. Maybe I'll learn more about it during my tour tomorrow. Because from this side, it actually looks a bit better. I'm wondering why there's so much smoke. Shisha was? And it is already sunset time. So they're gonna fire the cannon soon. It has been getting more crowded. Oh. Oh. That was it. No timer. So suddenly, now you can hear everybody praying. So this is Atlan. Adnan. Adnan, sorry. <laughs> this is Adnan. Yeah, he uh, leads us through the tour today of the fall of Yugoslavia. And what is the main attraction of uh, Sarajevo actually? Why most tourists come here? Well, of course, Sarajevo is today most known, unfortunately, for its war uh -huh. for the period of the 1990s yeah but definitely Sarajevo has much more beautiful uh, stories rather than just the the, the war itself as, as Sarajevo is definitely known in its history as one of the cities with the biggest diversity of cultures and the religions mm -hmm. in the old town of course you can notice from mosques to, to synagogues the church is Orthodox Catholic yeah but definitely it's quite known for its nature as well and what is surrounding the entire city. As soon as the Ottoman Empire comes in, in the year of 1462, they were the ones who immediately introduced something that is known as Sharia law. Sharia law states that Muslims need to pay an amount of tax, but people of other beliefs need to pay an increased amount of oh, tax I as see. a protection of okay. living inside of one Islamic empire. Oh, and of course, interesting. At that point of our time, everyone is converting. Catholics, uh, yeah. Orthodox. Because they want to pay less taxes, so that's why they become Muslims. Of course. And now, what is the Muslim population of Sarajevo? Nowadays, it's a majority. And they were the ones who actually built the town of Sarajevo. Uh, they yeah. were the ones who gave the name of Sarajevo to the city. At the time when the, it was built, it was the entrance from the Ottoman Empire. Oh, yeah. So one of the first buildings that Ottomans would be seeing while entering the town of Sarajevo is the huge building of the city hall. Yeah. And what is the best time of the year to visit? Well, the best time of the year, if you're asking me, yeah, of course, it all depends, but definitely it's either spring or fall. Mm -hmm. But then if you're into skiing, winter yeah. is, is a very beautiful period of the time as well. And you can have some amazing uh, skiing for much cheaper prices than anywhere else in Europe as well. So here you can see this was the, uh, the city hall. The city hall, yeah. the city hall that was burned in 1992. It was reconstructed in the year of 2014 on 100 year anniversary of the First World War mm -hmm. under the message that stated 100 years of peace after 100 years of war. And what are some of the best museums in the city? Well, definitely, again, they're mainly related to the past war. And yeah. the, one of the greatest museums and the most visited museums is the Museum of the Tunnel. And then the mosque is on the main street. The Jewish synagogue is just a bit further down. The Catholic church is just a bit further down. Basically, four main religious objects in just 400 square meters of each other. Hence the name of European Jerusalem, of course. These kind of streets were actually very active during the period of the war. Once again, tall buildings on both sides and not visible from the nearby mountains or hills. Mm -hmm. So that's why on the right hand side, very shortly, 
you will be able to see an open marketplace. Yeah, and yeah. it was the only working marketplace during the period of the war. People believed it's not possible to be a target of, just because of its surrounding, once again. Unfortunately, they were not right. Hmm. Where two mortar shells had fallen, one here and the second one here, injuring more than two, 200 civilians oh, yeah. and killing more than 100 civilians. These two both happened on the very late of the war. Together with the genocide of Srebrenica, this is something that caused intervention of primarily the US President Bill Clinton, who finally had stopped the war on these areas. But now here, we are actually approaching the Olympic complex, where Sarajevo is an Olympic city that hosted mm -hmm. Winter Olympic Games of 1984. Oh yeah, here's uh, Sarajevo, Romeo and Juliet. Um, so the couple that you can see here, they were actually dating from the point of the Olympic Games, from the 1984. They were supposed to get married soon as well. Their parents knew about the relationship and it had approved it. Well, she comes from a Muslim family, he comes from an Orthodox Christian or a Serb family as well. Both of them were living in Sarajevo. And that's why they planned that they're going to escape the town. This is before the tunnel was constructed. And the only way how they could have escaped is to use this one bridge. And they had went to the side of the bridge where Poshko started running across first. But as soon as he did, sniper shot killed him instantly on the bridge. Admira, even though that she saw this, she went running after him, where she was shot in her leg. Basically, nimbled up to his body and bled up to death. You can see the white graves are usually Muslims, and the gray ones are other religions. And uh, there's a red grave. I think it's for atheists. But yeah, it's a beautiful graveyard. with a red cross on top of it as well. Just over there. Mm -hmm. That is the chapel where the remainings of Gavrilo Princip are. The guy who shot the Archduke Franz Ferdinand uh -huh. and the assassin oh. of his. This man is known as the trigger of the First World War. Mm -hmm. yeah. A bit under half a million of mortar shells had landed on top of the town. I would say that the whole world had felt a bit of a guilt for not doing anything earlier. So after the war, early 2000s were probably the finest years that we ever had. Money was coming from all sides. Oh, yeah. So Sarajevo yes. had seriously reconstructed. <laughs> what do you remember from your childhood? Like, what well, was the life like? Again, I do not remember a whole lot, but you know, one image that sticks to my mind mm -hmm. as, as something very, very positive. Yeah. I remember my mother. Yeah. Uh, who was feeding me in a very dark room with a candle in front of us and a fire on the side of us. Yeah. And for me, that is a very, very positive image of my childhood. Bosnia had been covered in landmines. Yeah. So in my first four grades, one of the primary subjects that we all had learned was called landmine awareness, mm -hmm. where we had to know everything there is to know about landmines. We actually had competitions in between the schools mm -hmm. on how much do we know about them. Mm. As a first, kids would usually be the one that would be injured by. The tunnel was 800 meters long. Yeah. Uh, of course, 800 meters is not available today because it endangered the security of the airport. So just until yesterday, only 25 meter of the tunnel had been available off as well. Oh. But just, yesterday. just until yesterday, and yesterday they had opened another 100 meters of the tunnel. Something that is known as Sarajevo Rose. This is where basically a mortar shell had fallen and killed ah. a minimum number of three people on each of these places. Oh. There's more than 100 of these scattered all over the town. So that's why these rings are here, which are showcases of Olympic sites. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the same map, just a couple of years after, had been used to describe the BC city of Sarajevo between 1992 to 1995. From this area, the snipers were standing and shooting in this street. So if you know any Boston family name, most likely that you can find it on this enormous wall that you can see. Mm. 
So now you can go through what it says there. Sarai was city gate between 93 to 95. Yeah. But please, let me tell you just this. This first part is 25 meters. After you finish this one, you'll be able to go through 100 meters. Mm -hmm. But please, this first part, 25 meters, the first part of it is actually the tallest of whole 800 meters. Mm. Average is 1.6. Mm -hmm. So as you go down, it's going to be shorter and shorter. See, it is bigger than the Chuchi tunnels in Vietnam. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Well, made a movie about Boston. For example, Angelina Jolie, she made a movie called In the Blood, In the, in the, in the Land of the Blood and Honey. Oh. Richard That's Gere good. also made a movie, uh, Hunting the Hawk, the, the Fox. Uh, Robert De Niro and John Travolta, they also made a movie about Boston. Okay. What is about the movie? About the war? Yes, about oh. the war oh. in, in Boston. Uh, they visit this, this town. Oh, they came here. Yeah, they came here. Oh, uh, here lots of famous people came. Yes. Morgan Freeman was here. Orlando Bloom. Yeah, these people made this tunnel. This guy, Neja Brankovic, he designed the tunnel. I'm not too big, but even for me, it's uh, small. And I'm so happy because I'm crossing this tunnel. So this is the first time for you crossing this tunnel? You've been Actually, there. Actually, now yeah. it's second time because it when you have watching the movie. Ah, you were checking it out. <laughs> I see. I see the map. What, what do you can see here? This is the entity federation of Bosnia Herzegovina. Bosniaks and Croatians are living here together, and this entity is called Republika Srpska. Uh -huh. In the middle, we have a district Vrčko. They didn't know how to split this town because. Yeah. Uh, about 60% are Bosniaks in this city and 40% are the Serbs, so... And he told you about the Sniper Alley, but, but actually the whole city was Sniper Alley. In this picture you can see Slobodan Milosevic, the president of Yugoslavia. You, you uh, can see the president of Croatia, Franjo Tuđman. Yes. And you can see the president of Bosnia and Herzegovina. He's very clean tones, he's actually like... This guy's from Germany and this guy's from Great Britain. Yeah. This was Yugoslavia. Right. Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo, yes. Serbia. When Slovenia separated, Serbia t tried to attack Slovenia, but it was, it was so far from their border, so war was about 10 days here. Mm -hmm. Croatia separated, Serbian forces easily attacked Croatia. And uh, when Bosnia and Serbia separated, it was the bloodiest war, because we are nearest to the Serbian border, and there are many Serbs who, who were left who are still living in Montenegro. And that silhouette belongs to a war-convicted criminal, an army general of Republika Srpska, Ratko Mladic himself. Uh -huh. Mladic. And over there, once again, on Cyrillic saying, it says, Ti preko drine za tebe se gine. Which means, even beyond the river of Drina, we will die for you. Mm -hmm. The river of Drina is a natural border I between see. Bosnia and Serbia. Very clear, very direct, and very aggressive message. Mm -hmm. And me, myself, personally, I would like to say that this is an old graffiti, old ideas. And it is, actually. It's been there for more than 10 years. But unfortunately, it was freshly repainted just about two years ago. Oh, yeah. So the idea is still... Yeah very much alive. A criminal hmm. as a war hero as hmm. well. Control I saw Rachel Bishop as well document and move it. The Pogledamo is well there. This was one of the nicest restaurants before, but it was, got hit by an airstrike. Exactly. This is where Ramalan Karadzic had a meeting with the Russian poet at Lagomov. Oh. Was that the one who tried to get his worship? And basically he, he, the, the video that you saw, he was standing actually just where the police uh, had stopped. I was about to say that. Here's the bobsled track from the Olympic Games. <laughs> Sarajevo was like the center of the war. How was the situation in Belgrade? Uh, well, the war was primarily happening here. In Belgrade, the war was not going on at all. 
oh. in all of Serbia the war was not going on uh -huh. until 1998 yes. when uh, of course uh, Kosovo yes. had been attacked and uh, at that point of our time uh, NATO is airstriking uh, Serbia and airstriking Belgrade. So you have some traditional Bosnian lunch although I'm not sure what the name is including some yogurt and a salad and of course bread. Holy shit look it's snow in April and tomorrow it's supposed to be 20 degrees. Wow beautiful everything is white. The city is just so beautiful with all the snow although the streets are not white they're just wet. So it's Sunday and a wonderful beautiful snowy day here in Sarajevo. By the way, yesterday the fall of the Yugoslavia tour was absolutely fantastic and I highly recommend it. Meet Bosnia is the tour group, the biggest here in uh, Sarajevo and also the best reviewed. But today it's very special with the snow in the middle of uh, April. So now it's very beautiful to have this uh, little graveyard with the snow in front of this mosque right here in the center of the city. Yeah, it's not so full today because it's Sunday. It looks so beautiful here in the mountain with all the snow. So all the snow is already melting. Indeed, it's very pretty. This is what you get here in Sarajevo for 20 US dollar per night. A nice apartment with a private bathroom. All very nice and clean. And this one is very big. And I just noticed that I have a beautiful view from my window in the bathroom. So here you can see still the snowy mountains back there. So now, today we're going to do the Mostar tour. And the first stop is going to be First stop is going to be the town of Konitz, a small town where we are going to be able to see an Ottoman bridge yeah. from the point of the 17th century. One of the three most beautiful Ottoman bridges in the country, Bas in Luxembourg. Do you usually have snow at around this time of the year? Well, of course, it's, it's not as common, yeah. but it could snow. It could snow. But this is what we had in the past two days yeah. as we go out. We're gonna be in Herzegovina. Ah, so we just arrived to Herzegovina after this tunnel? After the tunnel. Ah, okay. It is Herzegovina region official. At one certain point, these were two separate kingdoms. In summer, in August, Mostar can usually be the warmest European city. A nice view here on the mountains. Almost like the Alps. Well, these are Alps actually. Oh, these are the Alps already. These are extensions of the Nordic Alps and they are heading all the way down to the Montenegro. What was the name of the town again? Honitz. This is the famous bridge of Honitz which was destroyed during the Second World War. What we constructed, it was originally built during the uh, Ottoman Empire. It's a beautiful scenery with the mountains and especially today because we still can see some snow from yesterday. Taken over there. We can also see a broken minaret tower. Maybe it has been destroyed by the war. Very pretty town. This is actually how I imagine Mostar. <laughs> Only these restaurants have such frequency. So here we have some traditional meat. The lamps. Oh, this restaurant has a very nice view. Would you like me to make a stop? You have a quick stop. As you can understand, one of the main goals of the 1990s was definitely ethnical cleansing 
of the primary group of Muslims on these areas. Luckily, this did not succeed, but unfortunately, something that had succeeded is ethnical division throughout the country. The road is closed. No. <laughs> they need to turn. Yeah. Here we have a nice viewpoint of this castle next to the river in this village. Pochite. Pochite is the name, yeah. It's a very pretty walk here with the flowers. Spring is coming. Wow. So here's the entrance gate. So here now we are inside the tower. Ah, so this is the top. Flowers here at the viewport. It's amazing. The weather is also perfect. Spring is beautiful in the city. This is the top of the waterfalls. It's very nice that they have benches here just at the water. So you can sit and enjoy this beauty. So here are the Niagara Falls of Bosnia. What is the name of the waterfall? Bosnia Niagara Falls. Ah, yeah, the official name. <laughs> so, in summer, here are coffee shops, but now it's all flooded in spring right now. So, you can also take boat trips for 5 euro. And the entrance to this park is actually 10 euro. It's not cheap, but it's very pretty. Waterfall. But why is this place that we are now heading to so important for us? It's actually because of the date when it was constructed. A dervish under the name of Sari Sultan is traveling with 300 of his men in what is known as the early 15th century from the town of Izmir onto these areas, mm -hmm. sharing the message of the God, of course, spreading the religion. The Ottomans had came here in 1462 this house was built before that period of the time okay. so that's why this place that we are now heading to is actually considered to be the origin of islam not only in in bosnia but in balkan overall now we're going to the cave of the spring oh, it seems very pretty here yeah? So this house is to be considered the origin of the Islam yep. in the Balkans. Just this house. And you can see that Arabic word 
Yes. Hua. Yeah. Which is in the legend of Islam, there's God has 99 yeah. names. Hua is one of them. Cross this bridge to see this special house. So here they're selling religious objects and toys. So here, this is the place. They increase the price. This is just for the entrance fee. For this car, it's inside. So, now we are just arrived here in Mostar. And over there is already the bridge, the famous attraction why people come to visit this beautiful city. Oh, this is not a famous bridge. There's another bridge. There is. The famous bridge is uh, somewhere else. So they are... They usually almost never stay in one. They, they are constantly moved. So they might... So this restaurant is recommended for lunch. So here is the famous bridge of Mostar. And here actually the original stones because it got destroyed in the Second World War. Here they are selling postcards of the bridge. And here is the actual bridge. So let's walk over it. In minutes, more or less, an hour and a half. And enough for the fee time and for the lunch. Here we have some local Bosnian food, which is kebab. Klepper is Klepper. Uh, means meat. It's yeah. like ravioli with sour cream. Interesting shops. So here they're selling lambs and dolls. But mostly beautiful lamps, and here we have carpets. It's a very Turkish style city. So here is a mosque, which seems pretty. It appears to be closed, otherwise, you can go up to the minaret, where our guide said. Here's a pretty mosque and a demolished house, victim by the war. This bridge divides the city not only through the river, but also physically by the people. Because on the east are the Muslims and on the west are the Croats, which are mostly Orthodox. So this is the other part of the city, the other side of the bridge. Here they have Sevapcici and it appears almost the same, although here are more Croats than Muslims, apparently. There's a museum. And yeah. this is basically the city center itself. Destroyed many places here. And again, I was very surprised how amazing the tour was with uh, Meet Bosnia. I mean, of course, I was also very lucky with the weather, but all the attractions were so much better than what I expected. Because first I planned to go uh, to the um, Mostar city by train, but because the train leaves at 7 a.m. I decided to take a tour and as you can see there was just so much more to see than just Mostar. Yeah, and um, yeah, I'm very very happy about this. Also again with the same tour guide Adnan, yeah, very nice. Uh, he explained everything so passionately and in detail. Very knowledgeable guy. So yeah, today is in fact already my last day here in Sarajevo. Yeah, this is the market uh, where one of the bombs hit during the war, killing over 100 people. Very sad, very cool. And here is another market, organic shop. So here it's a bit warmer, because it's freezing today. Oh, but it smells too much like meat. Oh, here they're traveling with a cute dog in the backpack. So here they seem to have a healthy Vegan restaurant. Here we have some delicious feta hummus for four US dollar. So we're going on a free walking tour. So the first stop is this house. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. One of the most struggling country in Europe right now. If you don't think about our town for Ukraine, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Accept what is good and enjoy. What is less good, don't take wrong. If someone not smiling, everyone deserves for your young age that you're spending your energy, money. If mm -hmm. not smiling, it's not about you. Yeah. It's about 450,000 people with PTSD. Probably they are struggling with their problems. If you see mosque full of people, mm -hmm. in Yugoslavia we were not practicing. 
seen that much, but so much happened in our lives. We are shaped by the poor. Yeah. And the churches full, mosques full. This is our reality. Or I went to France. When I came back, when we signed peace, I was not enough Bosnian because I moved. Oh, so you were in I'm, between. Yes, I'm mm. trying to describe you how war shaped mm. uh, our lives, marked, stamped our life. Yeah. And then Ukrainians, you are watching a uh, story, or it will take few generations to make it at least a little bit better. Mm. I people didn't know it's so hard after war. I didn't know that after war coming another war. I was mm. rebuilding my country. First program was uh, glazing windows back. No one in the city had a window, only plastic. First mosque in the world that got electricity was ah. this one. Oh. Was and it's First so mosque in the world which got electricity. So this is the mausoleum of the guy who built that mosque, actually. So yeah, a very special mosque. First electricity mosque in the world. Here we have a beautiful Islamic art workshop. Of tours here of, uh, I would say, Southern Border from America. And that lady oh. will put some messages. Mm -hmm. and they are making very tiny filo dough. Then they are stuffing with a uh, sweet cream milk. Mm -hmm. The time, yeah. good ingredients. Mm -hmm. Then whatever good for you, it's good for me. Or next to the mosque, they call Angel here. It's a sweet came to us from uh, Palestine to Syria, Turkey to Turkey. After here. that, we take off them and cut it on these like, slices, mm -hmm. and they keep drawing like this. After that, we bake them, uh, put the pillow dough and a little bit of sugar syrup on the top. You can sit here, tea, coffee time, and listen to that music. It's mm -hmm. very relaxing for us. We feel better with, uh, mm -hmm. with this music. Gentlemen, drinking red drink on our right. Yeah. It's a famous singer of that music. What is the name of the... Like the His name is Seo Pitic. Like if you don't mind, we can see for a few minutes how he's doing and he can tell you a few words that's what better I, that's than what he's about this. We're making oh. this design, this leaf is for you see, everyone is totally different. I don't have shablon, making with free hand. Second one, Oh! Same work, two totally different products. And maybe for you very fast when you're watching, but I did doing 35 years. And with time are faster, yeah. more faster. Yeah. 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 Then I started to do that when I started working, when making some lines using like that. Without fulfilling with the web. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I don't have... It's the most important building in the city. Yeah. Royal couple with two kids. Yeah. Uh -huh. They are driving here, they turned, and they were killed. Yes. This was a restaurant. This was a restaurant? Yeah. Assassination didn't happen on the bridge. It yeah. happened here. This is the bridge, right. but the assassination the happened here. Here was a door, he came out, and he killed them here. He okay. said later, she was pregnant here. Oh. He didn't want that, but it happened. Oh, so here we have another war crime, killing 26 people. Just at this spot, who are queuing up to buy bread. Uh, he even 43 people got killed. Uh -huh. 67, it's getting worse. You can see here the bomb. That's already it from Bosnia and Herzegovina. As you could see, this country has so much to offer, and I truly enjoyed my stay. This country truly exceeded my expectations, but on the other hand, I'm also terrified about the stories I've heard. It has such a sad past, and hopefully we could have more peace in the future. Thank you very much for watching, 